The normal distribution is the most important and widely used distribution in statistics. You've probably already heard of it. And you'll hear much more about it here and in later chapters. The normal distribution is sometimes called the bell curve, although the tonal qualities of such a bell would be less than pleasing. The normal distribution is also called the Gaussian curve, after the mathematician Carl Friedrich Gauss. As you'll see in the section on the history of the normal distribution, although Gauss played an important role in its history, de Moivre was the first to discover the normal distribution. Strictly speaking, it is not correct to talk about the normal distribution, since there are many normal distributions. Normal distributions can differ in their means and in their standard deviations. This figure shows two normal distributions. The blue distribution has a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. The red distribution has a mean of 60 and a standard deviation of 5. Both distributions are symmetric, with relatively more values at the center of the distribution and relatively few in the tails. This is the formula for the density of the normal distribution, which can be thought of as the height for a given value on the x-axis. The parameters mu and sigma are the mean and standard deviation respectively and define the normal distribution. The symbol e is the base of the natural logarithm, and pi is a constant. Since this is a non-mathematical treatment of statistics, don't worry if this expression confuses you. We will not be referring back to it in later sections. However, you will be using computer programs that make use of this formula implicitly. Listed here are three of the six features of normal distributions that are going to be illustrated in the remaining sections of this chapter. Normal distributions are symmetric around their mean. The mean, median, and mode of a normal distribution are equal. The area under the normal curve is equal to 1.0. Normal distributions are denser in the center and less dense in the tails. Normal distributions are defined by two parameters, the mean and the standard deviation. 68% of the area of a normal distribution is within one standard deviation of the mean. Thank mm -hmm. you.